what is going on guys so i'm going to be giving you a tutorial only for bedrock windows mcpe or um pocket edition so like if you play on an ipad or like a computer on windows that's fine or you play on an xbox um all of that will work if not you can continue watching this video but do not try to build it um so what you're going to want to do is go into settings first off okay and then you're going to click over here down to seed so the reason you want to do this is really because um you want to be able to find a zombie spawner so my seed is negative seven two five nine zero one zero zero five so if you want to do it you can just come here on this seed and do it or you can look up um chunkbase.com slash apps slash dungeon dash finder and then once you go into that app you are able to look it up um just type in the seed and make sure it's bedrock 1.17 and above for dungeon finder um you can also use this for lots of other things like finding bombs and stuff and um if you guys want you can just comment down below and i will put a link to it in the description um but other than that let's get right into it so i've actually already gone to the location it says 606 and negative 109 so if we just dig down here we should be able to find a zombie spawner um so let's go um, it might be quite low for anyone doing this. Um, as you can see, we're starting to hear zombies. Yep, there we go. So we landed directly on the zombie spawner. And, um, of course, you're going to want to get a sword or something out just to clear all this up. And then, obviously, grab some torches to keep everything from spawning. Um, so let's get me some torches. And then, once you light this area up, you can... Um, Break out the chests out and everything, okay? You're gonna make this like you're making a normal farm, okay? So now that no zombies can spawn, we're good to go. Kill all the extra ones and, um, yeah. So also, if you already have a zombie spawner on your world and it's like a zombie farm, that's perfect. You can just use that. Um, but what you're gonna, gonna wanna do is go four out in each direction, okay? So one, that's four right there, of course just like that okay so see how this is four right here one two three four one two three four right there awesome so one set four in each direction just like that you're also going to want to go um let me get a block in my inventory really quick you're going to want to go one two three four up from the top as well um i don't know if these are the exact dimensions but it's what works for me um so you guys can follow the same thing so make sure you just dig out four in each direction once you have done all of that in mind four out in each direction from the middle of your spawner you should be good to go and the next step is what you're gonna actually want to do next is mine down four from the spawner see so that's one two three and four so this allows for every mob to spawn in that radius so you should be good to go and um you're just gonna want to mine out four in every direction all right so once you mine all of that out and you come back to here um you should be good so all that's good right there um four in each direction you're gonna want you're gonna want to get a water bucket out um or just ice you can also use ice and then break it just like this and you're gonna want to go on any corner you can pick which corner you want it really doesn't matter but i'm gonna go right here i guess you can't use ice and creative but if you want to use ice in a survival world go for it um it'll work perfectly fine um so i'll just be using a water bucket and you're gonna want to place it in each corner just like so so everything flows into this one block in the middle and after that you can get some signs any um type of sign works and after that you're gonna also want to get um a magma block so this is what i use in my survival world you guys can use almost whatever you want it really doesn't matter but you can also dig down as much as you want here wherever you want them to spawn but for the purpose of this video i'll just go um i'll just go one down here so you're gonna want to place signs along all of these right here Just so all the zombies end up over here and the water continues to flow, but also blocks some light levels so other things can spawn. So once all of this gets in, you should be good to go. 
So all that like that, and then you're gonna break, break one more out just like this. Or even if you want, you can break two down. I'll go two down just because you can see all the zombies dying. So if you go like that, your zombie kill chamber should be good to go. And if you want to collect the drops, I can make a different tutorial on that. Just comment down below, and I will definitely do that. Um, so it'll just sort out all the zombie flesh, and then um, if you want to kill them yourself, I can also make a tutorial on that so you get a little bit of XP. Um, but you're also going to want to take a slab and place it on top of the spawner so nothing can spawn up there. Um, which is really important because you're going to want to be able to kill all this stuff. For now, you're going to want to mine out just for a little bit. Um, you don't actually need to come back in this area at all, so you can block it up if you would like. Um, but yeah, you're going to be hearing all those zombie spawns. So let me turn down my volume. But the purpose of this, so now you can actually take a torch to light it all up and stuff. You guys can do whatever you want. Um, the purpose of this zombie spawner is to make it so you get zombie villagers, okay? And with those zombie villagers, you can actually get um, discounted trades. Because every time a zombie villager spawns, it lowers down your emerald trade by one. So once 10 zombie villagers spawn, you'll be able to get like infinite emeralds for a very long time which is really good and in since i'm in creative i'm actually just gonna spawn in the zombie or spawn in the villagers um but you guys obviously gonna have to do this yourself and get your own um villager thing set up with your own villagers you can boat them over you can minecart them over you can do whatever you want um so you're gonna need this I'll throw it on the ground for now because you don't need anything else. Okay. Um, I'm going to clear my hotbar. And then you can use any block, but the blocks I've been using in my villager trading hall are quartz and glowstone because they both work very well together and then they um, complement each other. And also, uh, you're going to need a pressure plate along with some more water and let's see where are the trap doors you're gonna need any trap door it doesn't matter which we'll just go with the classic oak and finally you're gonna need a lectern okay because this is how you get the infinite emeralds so i believe it is a 30 block radius from that that you can work with on any of these um so you can build out 30 blocks and have a really huge area as long as the zombie villager spawns within 30 blocks of it you should be completely fine um but i'm just gonna build mine right here because it makes it nice and simple so you're gonna want a back wall like that and then a floor of two okay so this is the dimensions that it's gonna take per villager so every villager you want it's gonna be this size okay it can't be any smaller it can't be i mean it can be bigger but it's kind of useless if you make it any bigger, so just make it this size and glowstone back there and then that there and water bucket there. You can use any lighting. You don't even really need any lighting at all. This is just to make it so nothing happens to the villagers once they're here and then you can place in your villager and since the trapdoor is right here, they can't get out. Since they're taller than me, they're not able to get out an awful lot of time if you are not able to change um, what they're able to trade just because they are not the most common there we go so this is the guy we want to keep we'll put back that ba that back there and we'll get rid of you there we go and okay got back right here um so this is the guy we want so we place that there and we place this there and now we just wait so i'll spawn us a couple emeralds um for this to work you can either get a fletcher and get one stick to start the trend or like any item or any emerald that you can start it you could even get like one paper and it would work um so let me just get one emerald before we go back in to survival just to show you how this works we can place that there and now if we go to survival just like so 
and we wait for a zombie villager to spawn and since i'm in creative i just added a bunch more spawners which obviously has a bunch more zombies and therefore the chance of getting a zombie villager is much higher and um we basically got down to one emerald instantly um so yeah now i'm going to show you the trick as to how to get infinite emeralds so you have one emerald right you buy this book right here and it will throw you over the edge um if you do it enough times so once you get over that you will get um enough and then you take this bookshelf right you break it break it down break it down faster than axe but since you're just going for infinite emeralds and probably just starting out you do that now you have three emeralds and now you have bookshelves go like this da 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 okay well guess what now you have six books and then guess what now you have seven emeralds and you do that over and over again and then eventually um you actually need a bed down here let's see um you don't sleep in this bed this is for the villagers so they can help restart it you only need one bed for every single villager you have um but yeah oh, i got rid of all my emeralds so we'll just pretend we're restarting with one right even though we traded a few up and um let me t set if it didn't restock let me set the time tonight i'm on i'm on xbox so it might take a little bit um so if we go tonight and we click boom um it should reset it if not i'll just wait until um it restocks um but now i can set it at noon and if it doesn't restock doing this i'll just have to wait um the only downside is that it does after you trade with it it does redo it like you have to wait for this to go down from the bookshelves um but that just takes time once again so if i just do slash time night look at this it should then if i go back to day like noon um should be completely fine it'll go back down to one just like that so boom one bookshelf right you should get tons oh i'm in creative that's great um do i solve the bookshelf please tell me i solve the bookshelf okay we're good um so yeah All right in creative don't do that because then you don't actually get the item but in survival boom right i got the book go in here dang three emeralds easy as that and the more of these guys you have and the more you can get the more you are going to make so this is absolutely insane i will show you in my survival world how i did it and um i just get infinite emeralds essentially and i can get every single enchantment in the game using this method and then bam i'll take some more bookshelves and there you go i have eight bookshelves which will give me a total of 24 emeralds just from one emerald and you can repeat this infinitely with as many villagers as you want as long as they're in a 30 block radius of this zombie spawner and um if you turn it to peaceful you'd have to wait a really long time for it to set all the way back to having the original trades um it does gradually decay over time but um since this is the second trade you don't have to wait too long because it goes all the way down to this and if you have other um librarians you would be able to trade um more of these books because you get more books than you do bookshelves um so you'd be able to trade all of these books away from the thing but as you can see we'll have infinite emeralds so if i go here and i go slash time um night boom and if i go slash time noon boom it'll restock and it will be worth four but as you can see we're going to be able to retrade all of our emeralds and we're already up to 13 emeralds and if you do this with a bunch a bunch of villagers along the line you will get infinite um oh i didn't actually expect to get hit you will get infinite emeralds as i've just said um so if you want infinite emeralds this is a really cheeky way to do it and there's a lot of other villagers you can do it with not just the librarian but the librarian is most definitely the easiest and now I'm going to show you 
um, how to do it on a survival world. And come on. There we go. Um, so now I'm going to go to my survival world and show you exactly how it's done there. Um, you won't be actually be able to see the zombie spawning because I still haven't changed it to tinted glass. Um, but I really suggest you do that um, just because it's easier that way. Um, so I'm joining the realm that I actually own with all of my friends that I've done a tour of earlier. And um, actually, as you probably saw earlier... Um, I showed off my villager area and how to get infinite emeralds, and um, I figured some of you guys would want a tutorial on that, so that is why I've made this. Um, if it's a little choppy, that's because this is my first tutorial, and um, I hope you guys did enjoy it because it took me a long time to make, but as you can see, I've got my bookshelves right here, right? And then I've got an axe to break them even quicker. Um, so if I just go over here, but if you come down here, right, go to the bookshelf thing. I've clearly already traded with all of these guys. All of them. All traded with. Oh, except for these. So, I'm actually going to break these down first, okay? I started with literally one emerald. One emerald. And I've gotten all of these bookshelves. And as you can tell, it is very easy to break them and get the stuff back. Um, but yeah, you can do this with a lot of villagers. And then once you get a lot of um, books, you can come over here. Right, I got all these books from those villagers over there from the bookshelf, and I actually can't trade it with this guy because I haven't leveled him up enough. But every other one, if I just go in here and I trade my books just like this, oh, I actually got to click right here, and I trade my books just like this, it's just the easiest thing ever. Like, look at all these emeralds I'm getting that I got for absolutely free, and once I get all of these emeralds, right, I just get all these emeralds. Boom, boom, boom. I have all of those. I can come back over to my bookshelf, guys, which I have labeled, and I have them organized over here, and I can just buy even more bookshelves, right? So that's 12 more, and I believe we started with, like, 24. So we already have 24 bookshelves back with all of the emeralds. And we're getting, we're getting even more. Like, look at this. It's the easiest method to get emeralds. And look, you can even buy the from the bookshelves below right there. So, it is clearly very, very easy. And as you can see, it's not even down to 14, which is the lowest in go. And I can still get one emerald trace. Just because I haven't been very active down here lately. And you can literally buy anything for one emerald. You can get whatever you want. Like, any book you can get for one emerald. Any item you can get for one emerald. Anything you could ever want in this game you can get for one emerald. See all of these books? You can think of the most insane book, like Mending. Mending is the most insane book, right? One emerald. Literally one emerald. Right there. One emerald. I have every max enchantment for one emerald. See, if that's fortune two. But if I come over here for my fortune three, guess what it is? Where is my fortune three guy? There we are. One stinking emerald. Look how easy that is. Fortune three right there. And say you wanted some like glowstone for some builds um say you wanted to build more of these setups and you wanted some glowstone there you go infinite free glowstone right there need ender pearls infinite right there and another cool method right these guys even sell glass you can buy the glass right buy all the glass you'd ever want in the world see i'm out of emeralds right i had six emeralds right there about 24 and now if i get glass bottles from this guy right here Let's just, let's get them all. 24. 24, right? We come over here. We can sell one glass bottle for one emerald. And we're already, already doubled our emeralds. But guess what? We have two of them. So, we're obviously going to buy more. And there we go. Literally, the times four of what we had before. And I'm building an even bigger setup down here. As you can see, I'm setting it all up. You could trade with any of these guys, right? Look at that, one emerald, one emerald. Um, I haven't traded with them too much, um, so as you can see, they've only gone down two, but in the prime, they'd be able to go from 10 stone for one emerald. You can buy that from one emerald, and that will go down to two eventually. So if I go back up, those should actually all be fully ready um, because this area is completely done, right? Here we go. Boom, 11 stone, one clay. And you can get every piece of diamond armor you could ever want. Look at this. 
Diamond boots, diamond pants, all one emerald. It's so easy. Definitely a really good method. And then there's the diamond pants and diamond helmet. There, you already got max armor. What, you wanted a sword and axe? One emerald. You wanted a pickaxe and a shovel? One emerald. Like, it's the greatest thing ever. I really suggest you guys do it. Um, but that's going to be it for today's video. And I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, we're searching for the lost and found.